we have got to make a change at BlackRock if we are going to decarbonize, decolonize, and end climate change once and for all. And we drafted a resolution that went to a vote this morning, and we call it the War Profiteers Climate Report. All that this resolution asks is for BlackRock to study the climate impact of its weapons manufacturers. I'm going to read to you the statement that I made in defense of the resolution that uh, Coping put forth for the War of Prof Profiteers Climate Report. I said, good morning, I'm Teddy Ogborn, I'm a representative for Code Pink and BlackRock. Moreover, I'm a 25-year-old human being who wants a habitable world for myself and my family to live on. I feel it's fair to assume that this sentiment is shared by the shareholders as well as their families. The resolution proposal calls for an impact report to be produced on the climate effects of the iShares Defense and Aerospace Exchange Traded Fund, also known as ITA. Given what we know about the climate crisis and militarism, it's not hard to see why we've written this proposal. The 2015 Paris Agreement made it clear that nations must limit warming to 1.5 degrees Celsius if we are to avert the worst effects of the present climate catastrophe. This crisis is already up in the world affairs as it takes the lives of those across the global south, causing mass migration, crop failure, ocean acidification, and other myriad consequences. Among these, of course, is the financial impact on people's investments, which BlackRock cares so much about, as Larry Fink himself correctly identified back in 2020 that climate risk is investment risk. He knows that the risk is there, by the way, he simply will not act. There is still time to avert further and exponentially worse climate chaos, but if we don't act within the sector now, we will certainly run out of time. We know our governments are not moving fast enough to limit warming, but we, the shareholders in this company, are uniquely empowered to take a crucial step forward. BlackRock can begin taking the step simply by reporting the climate and environmental impacts of this ETF. The board's unfortunate recommendation to vote against item 7 states that ITA's information page already lists the implied temperature rise associated with the fund. What the board did not say is that this implied temperature rise is listed as greater than 3 degrees Celsius. How do we feel about greater than 3 degrees Celsius rise in temperature? That is a climate death sentence. It's the worst score possible within that metric, and it's worth noting that greater than 3 can mean anything from 3.1 to 5 and beyond. This is an apocalyptic level of global heating with consequences far, far beyond that of a 1.5 degree world. But there's no mention of 1.5 degrees on the investment uh, vehicles page, nor in the board statement, and there's no acknowledgement of the dire implications associated with 3 degrees warming. The U.S. military is the planet's largest institutional emitter of greenhouse gases, and this ETF is the biggest fund fueling those emissions. Providing shareholders with accurate information on the fund is not just perfectly reasonable, well within the company's realized purview. It is a moral obligation to its clients, and it's a moral obligation to each one of us that shares planet Earth together. <laughs>